Hi guys, it's Creepy Kitty, and welcome to Such Art. This is actually a game that I just got recently. I had the um, demo, which was pretty fun. I guess I could have tried to play a harder or an easier difficulty. Oh well. The year is 2130, and you have just received the results of your professional compatibility DNA test. Your genome indicates that you have rare artistic talent. For decades, art has been largely dominated by robots and other artificial intelligence. But in these times of artistic perfection and homogeneity, hom hom fucking whatever. <laughs> The world of art has become stale and in need of renewal. <laughs> That's the problem you get when, like, when you read but you don't, like, say things out loud. Sometimes you just, like, don't know how to pronounce shit. My- it's like my mouth just doesn't make the words. It just- it just can't. It's time for you to act. You have been assigned a studio on board the International Space City so that you can fully express your artistic self. As on Earth, the threat of robot revolt is rising. An alien species, the Crabux, cr uh, covet the planet's salt water. Only you can decide what to paint on your next canvas. Okay. I would like you to load, please. A64-3 Secure password 123 Yep, it's a very secure password Ooh This place is nice Check your email Dear Creepy, I am ICO62, your assistant in contact with United Earth. Following the results of your last DNA test and in light of your artistic potential, you have been registered with the Talent Development Development Program, a United Earth program. I also welcome you to your new studio. The studio is provided by our program so that you can freely express your full artistic potential. There are boxes everywhere, is that normal? <laughs> Some equipment could not be installed before your arrival. Some of them, essential to your work, will soon be assembled by our technicians. For some other equipment, however, I'm afraid that you'll have to pay the installation costs. I'm disappointed. I'm not gonna say that. I don't want to be mean to the robot, just in case. I heard you had some hidden artistic genes. I didn't know. And a new studio in space. They trust you, lol. I hope they didn't make a mistake in their DNA test. Meanwhile, yesterday was my birthday and I didn't get anything from you. So I suggest you paint me a great piece of art to make up for it. I want a beautiful painting of a unicorn with plenty of colors. Bye bye and don't take too long. Who is- oh, that's my sister. Her name's Kindle. Like the- like the reading device, but with a Y. <laughs> okay, I don't need this. How do I? Oh, okay. All right. How big? Is this the only size canvas? Oh. I don't know if it's any bigger or smaller. Nope, that. I think that was about the same size. I don't know. I just know it was a big canvas. Um, okay. 
So... I'm gonna need some yellow. I'm gonna need some... Blue. I'm gonna need some pink. And... Some green. That girl said she wanted colorful stuff. Retrieve the exact color of a... Oh, that's cool. Okay, how do I pick this up? Oh, cool. Alright. Do I have a canvas that I can paint on there? I don't want to paint on this big canvas. I've never been good at painting on big canvases. Oh, there's already a palette here. Oops. Oh well. Okay. Let's do a yellow background. Oh goodness, I'm getting it all over the wall. I have to pay for the paint too? Like, ah oh man. This is gonna be so expensive. Being an artist is expensive. I mean, I already knew that, but... I didn't think it was gonna be so accurately represented in a game. Actually, this is a- this is like, way better case scenario than most artists get to have. Seems like, because they got their own studio because of DNA tests? Results? I don't want to have to buy more yellow, so I'm just going to use this yellow that they already put out. It doesn't matter if it's beautiful, because I made it, and I should be proud of it. Or whatever. Oh, one of my cats is growling at the other cat. Okay, I was like, what the heck is going on behind me? Okay, I ran out of... You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna get more yellow. I'm committed to this yellow background. I don't care if it's the same color yellow, but or the same shade of yellow. I just I just thought a yellow background would be cute. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool with the different shades. Oh. Oh goodness. My cat just jumped in front of my face on my desk. She doesn't usually jump up here though, so it's, it's kind of nice when she jumps up to say hi. My boys always jump up though. Especially the, my uh, kitten. He's like nine months old now though, so he's not really, he's not really a kitten kitten. Oh hush. I'm just trying to tell you to move. I like gently like pushed her and she was just like <laughs> but she's just like that she's a very talkative cat oh oh I can wait what I can turn the brush what about Oh, okay. I have to hold it. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be making a unicorn. Oh, frick. Okay. <laughs> I 
I did not mean to do that. I've never been good at drawing horse bodies. So. And I'm not even like a particularly scare skilled artist. I'm a scared artist. <laughs> that was like a Freudian slip. I'm a, I'm a scared artist, but I'm not a skilled artist. So this is, these are not gonna look great by any means. I wonder if I can just like do that and then smooth it with this. Not really. Okay. I was trying to see if I could save my paint somehow and like blend it to its potential so I don't have to buy so much. It's only like five cents or something like that. Or five credits or whatever. So I guess it's not that bad. Well, she did say she wanted a unicorn with like bright colors. So hopefully this is what she wanted. I guess I should have just been using that this whole time. It's just way easier to cover more of a s wider surface area. Okay, I guess I'll use this pink. I really don't care about the colors matching because I am, I'm just not, I'm just not gonna, not gonna try that hard because like, I don't want to get frustrated when things don't turn out the way that I want them to, so I'm just gonna kind of play around. Plus, art is supposed to be about expression and fun and like, I don't know doing something with your time that feels productive and helps you in some way. And a mouth. Ooh, I didn't mean for that to be so dark. Why is this so dark? Did it have like black paint on it before? Okay. Now, we're going to, we're going to clean these off, which is something that I never actually do when I do art with traditional utensils, and I really should. Whoops. Yeah, I'm, I'm really bad at taking care of my utensils. Um, like, I don't, I honestly don't know how to clean a paintbrush very well. I usually just like rinse them out and just kind of like massage the paint out of them. I don't know if that's good enough or if I'm supposed to be putting some kind of like cleaning fluid on them.
I like the the neon green with the pink actually. Oops, that was a long that was a long stripe. That's okay. Whoop. Whoop. I'm just trying to <laughs> I'm just trying to make polka dots, but they're just like getting crazy. I'm like I'm accidentally looking around when I'm doing it and dragging the brush. Okay. I think that's good enough. Actually, no. You know what? I'm gonna add some I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm just gonna add blue spirals. Oops. On that bottom one, I accidentally like crouched while I was doing it, <laughs> so. Okay. Goodbye, painting. I hope that she likes it. Okay. Well, look at this view. That's nice. Makes me a little anxious, cause uh, space is just so vast and like open and dark and unknown, and it terrifies me. The ocean terrifies me too for the same thing, for like the same reason. It's just unknown and vast and like dark, and I can't see what's going on. Like I used to I used to have this fear when I was like a kid that like gravity would reverse suddenly and I'd go flying off into space and it used to give me like panic attacks when I was a kid. I just received my unicorn. Well, I have the digital version. The real painting will take longer to arrive. LOL. Um, your unicorn is a little weird, but let's say it's approved. I will name it Ragnarok, because it looks like it'll bring about the apocalypse. That's a nice name. Your creator's license has been successfully activated. You can now, if you wish, sell your works directly on the art market. Once the work is put on the market, no further action is required. You will be notified when your work has been sold. In addition, a team of technicians is ready to assemble new equipment for you if you're free they can come now yay I don't know what she's gonna or I don't know what they're gonna give me but what did they do oh cool I can do ca smaller canvases nice that's what I really wanted to do. Okay. What did she think of the unicorn? What a great name. I know. I thought of it myself. So I'm having an online call with some friends of mine. I'm showing them your painting. Good luck with hmm, your artist stuff and everything. Bye bye. My sister is kind of like a little snotty. Honestly. How big is this? Oh, that's nice nice little painting size let's let's uh here I have another palette let's do pink let's do blue let's do purple and pastel pink or you know I wish I knew what these colors were all called 
so that I wasn't just like pink, you know, and the other pink, and then blue, and then purple. But I have never been good at knowing what colors names are. Whoops, I just painted the floor. It's a good thing this is an art studio. Otherwise, this would really suck. Getting paint everywhere. It's just so hard to get the sides and stuff. I don't think it really matters if I do, honestly. I'm gonna make a planet. This is kind of like a planet. Did I mention that I do abstract art? Because... <laughs> Uh, I'm not a realist. Or a realismist. I'm not good at it. At all. So. I feel like it's way less stressful for me to just do, like... Abstract stuff that I can just come up with and there's no, like, wrong answer. I wish I could like, I wish there was like a better height. Oh, I guess this is pretty good. I guess crouching is a little bit better than I thought. I thought I was gonna be way too low if I crouched. I don't know if this is glitter or if these are stars. Could be either or with me. For people who know me uh, IRL, sometimes I just like put glitter on my eyelids for makeup. I mean like cosmetic glitter, not like just like random glitter. That would be a really bad idea. Don't do that. Um, I don't even know if you're supposed to just put straight up cosmetic glitter like on your fucking eyelashes or um, on your eyelashes and eyelids and stuff or not either, but that's what I do. Yeah, some I have I have some glitter eyeshadow that's like a little bit creamy or like uh, glossy or whatever, so I can just like put cosmetic glitter on top of that and it'll like stick to it really well. So I guess I don't have any ongoing commissions like I don't in the uh, in the demo you get commissions like all the time so I wonder if this is more like free play like maybe I'm supposed to just be like enjoying doing the art instead of uh, constantly having commissions. I hope it's not as slow as past part two was feeling because like I wasn't really sure what I was doing wrong. I think I ended up looking it up and you're supposed to like do what some of the critics like in order to like progress which I guess makes sense. You need to appeal to like an audience but I really liked appealing to the punk crowd I didn't want to have to like I didn't want to have to like appeal to the guys who wanted the really dull colored stuff okay I 
kind of like I like the way these brushes work like they look really cool all right I'm gonna put this here can I sell it yes I can okay yes um, I don't know how much to charge for this it's the problem I always have I don't ever I never know what to ask for when I'm selling stuff Oh yeah, I have a checklist I'm supposed to be looking at. Um, okay. Alright, another painting I guess. Whoop, where did the, where did the canvas, go? oh there it is. I just like threw it on the ground. It got got stuck. Um This is how we rotate. Okay, now put it on. Put it on there. Put it on there sideways, please. Thank you. These games are, or art games like this are really fun, and like, honestly, you don't have to be good at art to enjoy them and to play them. Even to play them like on stream or for YouTube, because like, the whole point is to enjoy things. That's what life is about. That's what it should be about. Oh, why am I saving? Why am I saving? What's going on? Oh, is that like an autosave? I thought the game was like crashing on me and I was like, no, my, my blue, my layer of blue, that took me forever to make. I don't know how to draw water, so. There's a lot of things I don't know how to draw. I feel like people don't know how to draw more things than they know how to draw. And that's fair, because there's a lot of shit that exists. It's a lot. Too much shit to know how to draw off the top of your head, no less, so. I honestly grew up thinking reference images were like cheating, so like I never I never looked at things while I was drawing and then when I started using reference images my art looked a lot better but I I still don't do it very much I should I don't know I'm just stubborn about stuff my brain keeps telling me that like I need to know how to do it the right way automatically and if I don't, that I'm like bad at whatever. Oh, whoops, I used the wrong brush. I don't know what color this is gonna make. Oh, that's not too bad of a color. It's like a periwinkle or some shit. I don't know. Why is the sky the color of the ocean? The color of the ocean and the ocean the color of the sky? Who knows? That's not for me to say. I just do the things with my hands. I don't I don't explain them. I don't have reasons. I don't have logic. I just let the spirit of art go through my body. <laughs> you 
you'll notice with me, spirals are a big theme. And it's not just because I love Junji Ito. Uzumaki was really good, and if you haven't read it, you should. If you are able to, of course. But, uh, no, I've just always drawn spirals and hearts. For, like, years of my life. Just like little doodles. Okay, we're gonna sell this one. Uh, do I have to put it the way that I want it to be oriented when I sell it? I think I do, yeah. I don't want them to get the wrong interpretation of my painting. I better hang it the right way. Oh, I should have charged more because it was a bigger canvas. Whatever. Who cares? Oh my goodness, I have messages. I didn't realize. Oh goodness, I could have commissions waiting. Oh goodness. Oh. I am pleased to inform you that our brilliant team of technicians is ready to assemble another installation. This time it is a new room in your studio. This is a space dedicated to the reception and storage of your parcels. If you're ready, they can come now. Yes. Install it. Oh my god, my mouth is so dry. Why is my mouth so dry? I felt like when I was trying to talk, my mouth was just like sticking together from like dryness. Okay. I hope that the most recent work of our talented technicians went well. Actually, I have no doubt about it. It always goes well. I would like to inform you that their next free visit, which has yet to be planned, will be for your virtual reality equipment. Once assembled, this equipment will allow you to find virtualized version of all the works you've created. This installation costs, the installation costs of the other facilities, however, will now be yours. Are you trying to tell me I'm gonna have to pay for shit now? I don't like that. Hey, I sent you a gift to help you, oh wait, sorry, that's not her voice. Hey, I sent you a gift. I hope you like it. I got it for my birthday, but I already had a better one, so I thought I'd give this one to you. A gift! I don't even care. You're so thoughtful for thinking of me, I guess. Your art speaks to me a lot. Literally, I'm worried. Would you paint something for me? Something shocking. I want it on a big canvas. I'm willing to pay 215C for it. Have a nice day. Sure. Dude, I will paint anything. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Hey, my great besta, Kendall, show me what you do. You're so good at unicorns. I want a painting too, lol. I have some saved money for a small painting. ADC if that's enough, and I'll share it with all my followers. I would like a portrait of myself, a bit like my profile pic, but more fantasy. Half elf or cat, you see, lol. But only on small canvas, please. I don't have much space in my room. Jelly. Okay, do I have to actually make it look like them? Okay, all right, any more emails? Jeez, I feel like I can't even leave my room without checking my emails every second. All right, what's the gift? Oh. Uh, how do I, oh, <gasps> camera, nice. Make two paintings of your ch- I already did that! You- you gave me the quest after I did the thing? Aw, oh, you fricks. Now I gotta do it again. Take at least three lovely pictures with a camera. Do they have to be lovely? Do they really have to be? Anyway, let's see. Change canvas. 
They want it to be big and shocking. Let's see. Okay, I have an idea. Oh my gosh, that is such a big canvas. Why is it so... Why is it so big? How do people work on such big canvases? Like... There's nothing wrong with that. I, actually, if you can make it work, that's awesome. But I can't... I can't do it. I just can't. I get so anxious. What am I doing? Now I'm gonna get my palette. Oh, fuck! I knocked over all my- Oh, god damn it! Fuck! I knocked over all my shit! All of it! Oh, my water! Oh, no! Uh, oh, fuck, fucking. <laughs> okay. Um, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm, what do I do? How do I get rid of this paint? How do I? Oh, there's multiple palettes. Okay. Okay. Alright, let me, let me try and... Oh, boy. That made a perfect splat on the ground. Hey, that's what I can do to clean this palette off really fast. Hiya! I still got some on there. This is how I decorate my studio. Okay, that actually works because I don't want to use like a bunch of palettes. Like I don't want to have a bunch just like laying around. Okay, can I, can you, can you take, thank you. All right, I'm gonna need yellow, a lot of yellow. In fact, I'm gonna just get, I'm gonna get another yellow because, like, if I mix them, that might be fun. Alright, and then I need... Um... A brown. And then I need a red. I'm sure you can tell where I'm going with this. And I can assure you it's not going to be as cute as you think. Because I... You know what? I didn't think about it, but if I had like a tablet hooked up for this game, I wonder if I'd be like way better at it. Because like... That might actually be really fun. I think I saw in the settings that you can, uh, you can do a, uh, Ugh, I need a background color, but you can, uh, I think you can do a tablet, um, setting for playing this game. I don't know why I'm putting them all close together. I, I don't know. I was thinking I might blend them. Let's see if that does something cool. Oops. I don't need two of these. Okay. Whee!
I like the music in this too, it's pretty chill. Oh my gosh, this is such a big canvas. Like, seriously, it's it's amazing what people can do on such a big canvas. Maybe one of these days I'll paint on like a giant, giant canvas just for fun or maybe I'll be like a semi-successful artist who sells painting sometimes and maybe I'll just do a big canvas one day. But for now I'm too nervous and I don't have the money and I just don't want to mess it up, you know? I get anxiety about that. I get anxiety about a lot of things, but I get a lot of anxiety about messing stuff up. This game is so therapeutic. I tell you what. Like, I'm not even going to worry about making this perfect. Because I'm just not going to... I'm just not going to get it to be perfect. And I don't want to spend, like, an hour every episode doing, like, two paintings. Also, sorry if I sound stuffy. My nose is, like... My nose is all stuffed up from being sick recently. This is going to be so bad. That arm is too short. There we go, that's better. It is actually kind of cool how the colors mix and stuff. I forgot I was crouching. do this tail color real quick the f the sounds sound so cute too it's like <laughs> when you like put your stuff in the when you put your brush in the paint I'm not looking at reference photos of Pikachu, by the way, so like, I, I'm just, I'm winging it from memory. I'm running out of yellow paint.
cheekies. Oh yeah, I forgot I don't have a freaking water bucket because I spilled it everywhere. I'm scared to take that one over here because it's just gonna it's just gonna get knocked over. I don't know. I, that's I kind of messed that up, but whatever. There we go. Just cover it up with the big brush. Just cover up your mistake by using a big brush that just hides all the stuff underneath. That's what you gotta do. I know she probably didn't mean shocking, like, literally, but I'm- I don't know if, like, I don't know how much I can mess up these prompts. You know what? I'm I'm just going to I'm going to be a wild person and just just get it right off the floor. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I was all like, like when I was up close, I was like, ah, this is like a really cool abstracty looking, glitchy looking Pikachu. And then I, and then I pull back the camera and oh my god, he's, he's horrifying. Maybe an outline will fix him. Oops. I don't think there's any control Z in this either. I think it's just like, if you mess up, you mess up in real life. That's a little better. I don't know why I'm giving him a belly like Pooh Bear or something. I don't know. I don't know, I gave him a I don't know, man. I just I just gave him a little a little tummy spot. Okay, anyway, let's see. I want to get this in the water and do some white paint.
Then I gotta get up on the canvas higher up. Because I am not that tall. I wish I was like Slenderman height in this so that I didn't have to. I could just like progressively crouch more or something. Painting to Kara. Yes. It's definitely shocking. And Jelly wanted a small canvas. A portrait of them. I don't know what color their eyes are. Their hairs and stuff is probably not going to be perfect. Well, none of this is going to be perfect, let's be honest. Oh no, don't dump that. Thank you. Jeez. That was close. Wait, what was their request? portrait of themselves but more fantasy half elf or cat okay This kind of blends in pretty cool, actually. I know I said that before, but like, it is really cool. I'm not super great at like, uh, utilizing it properly. Sorry, I had to like get a drink really quick. Okay. Um
I don't know if their hair is actually this sh this shaggy, but. They did say more fantasy like. So I'm making them look like a freaking anime character. This color purple or I mean, blue is really cool. It's kind of like a periwinkle, almost lavender-ish. <laughs> Something like that. It's saving. It's saving, it's saving. The old man is shaving. I don't know. That's how you draw ears, you know. That, you know, there's the, the loop D part, and then there's the line. I know anatomy. Okay, let's add some more blue to the hair. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I mean, for how how good I'm gonna get on this game at least. All right, I've got a bunch of emails to check. Probably got some gifts. Oh my goodness. I like the power of your paintings. Here's what I'd like you to paint. The lie. I want it on a big canvas. I'll give you 290C for this. Uh, sure. Hey kid, what's up? I'm going on a tour of the solar system. I bought a space van. It's beautiful, but I'm not sure about this, the name. Star Cruncher or Pretzelers. I'll keep in touch. Kisses, Grandpa. Hmm. I think pretzel is. I don't know. That sounds cool. Um, portrait of an angel in a surrealist style. Sure. I'm just gonna say yes to all of these. Hello, creepy. My name is Zax, and I am interested in what humanity does best in every respect. I search for future human talent. You certainly don't believe it yourself, but you have a genetic predisposition to become a great artist. Persevere. 
Machines can paint to perfection, but they will never have the humanity that makes your painting so remarkable. Don't be afraid of your flaws. Use them. That is very powerful stuff. I agree. Thank you. I feel stronger now. Hello, I am Koki Koki. I am a Krabux itinerant trader. I am looking for human things. I sell them in Krabix Imperium. I want to buy typical human art. Paint a typical human with a very beautiful earth beach. I'll give you a Krabix de decoration. Uh, sure. I'm your first fan. I love your style. It's so unique. It's strong and emotional and makes me think of neo-expressionism. I think, I'm not sure. But even more neo and avant-garde. I transferred the credits to you. Thank you. Then it's decided it's gonna be Pretzelus. Kiss kisses, Grandpa. Okay. That's all my emails. Did I get a gift? No, I did not. I didn't get a freaking gift. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. I'm not mad. But I am gonna end this episode here because it's a long, long episode. But uh yeah, if you if you haven't checked this game out, you should check it out if you like doing art, especially like digital art and traditional art, because it's kind of like a mixture of the two. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.